love my beautifuls for the sign of Pisces. This is going to be your reading for the month of May. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for you can participate in a giveaway of this Crystal Unicorn Tarot card. I'm giving away those in the first week of May. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for those. Uh, don't forget my readings are timeless. So if you happen to find this reading at any other time, that is not the month of May. This is the reading that was meant to be for you. And this is the message from the universe for you, my Pisces. When I am connected to my joyful present, I attract support from the universe. Okay? If you are connected to your joyful present, you attract support from the universe. The universe is going to help you. Oh, sorry. I, I shouldn't just put it in here. I need to put it in here. Sorry, I forgot. Okay, so don't forget that in the end of this video, I do an interactive reading. So I answered three of your questions. If you have two or one question, I will be answering your questions in the end of this reading. So, um... Don't forget this is a general reading, so take what it resignates, leave what it doesn't. Okay, and we start with the first card. Wow! Opportunity of traveling and situation moving forward. A new idea, new plans towards the future. A person that is wearing a fake mask. Moving a situation that doesn't, moving away from a situation that doesn't longer serve you. The card, the two cups, using your intuition. Wow, this is quite a reading, my Pisces. This is quite a reading. Um, first, it talks about uh, opportunity of traveling or situation moving forward. It talks about a love or leaving something behind that doesn't longer serve you. You actually had two cards of leaving something behind that doesn't longer serve you. And this that you are leaving behind can be a relationship or can be a, um, a situation that doesn't serve you. It is a new love coming towards you in this month it talks about a relationship where the person betray you or the person that um uh was wearing a fake a, a, a false mask this month is the month that my pisces get the love of their life this person that is coming towards you that is a new love they're gonna show you how much they love you and how much they are into you um, a person is going to come and shove their feelings to you. And it talks about you having two choices. Um, you probably having the choice of leaving that person from the past and going to this, towards this new person. Or having two people's, uh, two persons uh, that show up, two new persons that show up in your future. I will, I will figure it out that in a minute, I'm going to throw some clarifiers for these cards and see what, what it's going to tell us. What is going to tell us about my lovely Pisces, their love life is coming towards you. Okay. Oh, and you had the wheel of fortune in your favor. Time for a positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is in your side. So this relationship that is coming, a situation that is moving forward, it's gonna be it's gonna be really favorable for you. Oh, you had the ten of earth. A very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. It's, it's a lot of financial security, my Pisces, coming towards you. A lot of good things coming. Look, and again, the coins, the gift of money, the effort, a new career opportunity, receiving a loan to pay off your debts, my Pisces. This is the month that you're going to have the opportunity to pay off some of your debt, of 
all of them. It talks about to making time for those around you, this person, this situation with this person that was wearing this face ma uh, um, false mask. It didn't let you to make to to have time for for everybody else in your life. It's like a, it was like a really possessive relationship. And look, leaving something behind, and it comes to clarify the end of a difficult situation. Embrace change. Okay, things are gonna get better. Things are go about to get better. And you have the six of water. Yes, a person from the past. We're talking about someone from the past. They come back to you. Uh, memories from the history. And it's going to be up to you because you have the card of the hermit. It's going to be about you and your intuition to take this person from the past. But you have a person also that is coming a new relationship. This new relationship can be with this person from the past or a totally new person. It's going to be your choice to decide what do you want. You want new love or old love? It's going to be you to decide. Um, talk about memories for the history of our childhood. Someone coming back from your past. The Ace of Water. Falling in love. Researching on the relationship. So it can be a person from your past. A new, a new relationship. It's gonna, you will decide what you want. It talks about a new home. A relationship that you guys move together. You get a new house. Um... Yeah, stress your win and fly, okay? Don't underestimate yourself. Assert the independent and creativity. Um, let's see if I can... Um, okay, let's see. The Oracle... Um, let's take a look at the Oracle, the Romans Oracle. For see what they're going to tell us by Pisces, my lovely Pisces. Why do they want to tell us about this new relationship that is coming towards you? It's going to be your decision in the end. It's going to be what you decide to do. That's going to be the, the best thing. But whatever you decide, it's going to be in you abundance and prosperity and happy family life. Lego control issues. Just let the situation to unfold naturally. Let things to unfold naturally. Keep an open mind because it's the new person that is going to come towards you. It can be a person. It's not your usual type. So you need to like keep... Look. The kind of the wedding, my Pisces, this person is coming to propose. It can be an engagement, a wedding. It's safe for you to love, my Pisces. It's safe for you to love. That person wants something with you. Let's not get the message from the moon for my Pisces. Message from the moon from my Pisces. Message from the moon from my Pisces. Message from the moon from my Pisces. Oh, look. And it's the moon in the new moon in Scorpio. We just have a moon, a full moon, a blue moon in Scorpio in the 27th and 28th. Work through your fears, my Pisces. That's what they are asking you to do. You work through your fears. That's what the new moon in Scorpio brought you brought to you. You need to work in your fears. This is the part that I answered your questions. If you have a question, please make sure that you just uh, pro focus your energy in that new question, what you want to ask me. Uh, focus your, um, your energy in that question. Okay, and it can be one question, two questions, three questions is your choice. I'm going to put one card, card number two. Card number three, you are welcome to pause the video if you want to choose a card. If you are answering, you just want me to answer one question. You are welcome to pause the video if you want to do question number one, question number two, and question number three is your choice to do. So let's see, quest, card number one, it is a yes, and you're gonna get clarity in exactly what to do, okay? Uh, number two, it is a yes, okay? And it has to be probably something with a wedding, respecting traditions, Something that you want to do, that it have to be with family, traditions, and something like that. The Ace of Cups, it is a yes, and it's going to be so, so good for you, my Pisces. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful month of May. 
it's wonderful things coming towards you in this wonderful and amazing month of May. You guys take care of each other. Most love. Bye.